And with time running out to stave off worst case scenarios of climate change and scientists putting a 12 year old clock on it, the world and mostly Africa is desperate to reverse the impacts of the, of the changing climate. More than 190 countries, including Kenya, have set delegations to Kotowice, Poland, for the Global United Nations Conference on Climate Change. What does Kenya hope to achieve at the meeting? Zena Bundati now reports from Poland. The African continent is said to be the most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change with prolonged periods of drought and floods sweeping through the continent, leaving displacement, hunger and death in their wake. It is against this backdrop that African governments are here in Katowice, Poland for a seat at the negotiating table to climate proof the continent and Kenya has not been left behind. We must adopt the rule book which will now define how the Paris Agreement will be able to be operationalized. Two, we must have the Article 9 of the Paris Agreement that we have sustainable, predictable acts and ease of access to climate finance. It is complex that many developing countries cannot access. We want ease of access. We want developing countries want to know how much. One of our ambitions is to get all the climate money to flow into Kenya. We have systems in place, we have policies in place, we have strategies in place, we have rules in place, and we are ready. With only a few weeks to go before 2018 comes to an end, Kenya has had a not-so-good year, having suffered one of the worst droughts in the last 50 years that forced it to make a United Nations appeal. Also in the same year, the long rain season came with massive floods that swept across the country, leaving thousands displaced and hundreds dead. And also temperatures were recorded to be high in many parts of the country, especially in the north of the country. And this script was replicated across the world. The World Meteorological Organization is reporting that 2018 is on the the track to being one of the hottest years in history and for a continent as vulnerable as Africa saving lives is crucial. Issues of finance are very critical to provide solutions for climate change so this is very important. How are we going to respond to the issues of mitigation uh, adaptation which is very critical for Africa and of course the technology which we need in the implementation of these solutions. In October this year, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change produced a special report that shows that global temperatures are rising faster than was earlier thought, and that if economies don't do something to decarbonize soon, then the world will be barely livable in the next 12 years. Now, this Katowice meeting will continue for the next 14 days, and the Kenya delegation is a 26-member team that is headed by the Cabinet Secretary, the Ministry of Environment, Kiriako Tobiko, and it also includes seven members of Parliament. Zainab Wandati, NTV, in Katowice, Poland.